Hi, I'm Donna Stanley with Endless Mountain Labradors, and we have another video called How to Choose a Puppy, which you probably already watched. This is going to be more of a deeper how to choose a puppy type video based on structure and to explain why breeders who show in confirmation um, do what they do and how it's going to affect your dog in the long run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by using this picture to show you a little puppy. Actually, this puppy isn't the best example, um, but he did go on to finish his championship. This is Gru when he was a puppy, and he was kind of a fine bone puppy. But just to start with the structure, um, I like to see a, a nice long neck. I don't like a real stuffy neck where the neck sits right on the shoulders. You want some length of neck because that really affects the forward movement of the dog. You really want to have a good forechest, which is one of his weaknesses. Although as he got older and he got more muscle, he did fill in right here with it. This is what we call good layback shoulder. So right up here is the withers. And when I feel that on a dog, I, I'll feel those and draw a straight line down. And that's where the shoulder should be placed. The next thing you want to look at is the top line. This dog has a killer top line, meaning there are no breaks in it. And you, uh, you don't see any dip when the tail comes off the back. So you want the tail to come right off the back. Then we want to see a nice bend and stifle, okay? And well arched toes. And a lot of the stuff about the Labrador is because you want the form of this dog to meet the function of that dog. And that's to be um, a gun dog and a dog that does retrieving, who's gonna be leaping over things in the woods, gonna be leaping off of the uh, shore of maybe some ponds and lakes. So um, we also want to look at coat. We'll get into that as we're looking at the four puppies that we have today. And then some other little bonus things. So I just wanted to start with that puppy to show you some of the main things I look for. And then I look for overall balance with a dog. So we're going to start with this little guy. And what I do is I usually try to place the front feet first. So I can see as I'm placing them, that they're parallel in the front and I can see the front structure and the chest. Now, this puppy has a really nice length of neck. He's got really nice um, lay back of shoulder. This is the first time we've stacked them, so they're gonna be nice and still for us, I think. I'm gonna set his back second, okay? And when I lay, when I do that, I, I'm also looking at the back because we don't want them hocking in. So let me show you what I'm looking at when I do that. Here's the leg. You want to make sure that they're not hocking in or something like that. What's important about the way your dog is put together is that if your dog is going through life with legs like this and moving like this, you're going to have early injury to the um, the shoulder. Um, you could also have um, in the back and you know walking that way it's going to actually um, wear on the joints so you're going to have joint issues maybe earlier on and then maybe arthritis earlier on too so that's really important so this boy let's look at his top line okay and if you see me needing to move something on a camera girl that's not right let me know so we've got a great top line on this guy Nice tail right off the back, love it. Um, the only thing I would say about this puppy is he doesn't have a whole lot of length of leg. For his length of body, we wanna see a balance from here to here, from here to here, okay? And I always do look at coat because Labrador Retrievers are, um, they have a second coat or an undercoat, okay? So we want a proper coat. And then there's bonus things like, for instance, a face, an expression. All right, the way the eyes are set, the way the ears are set. This ear should come to the corner of the inside of his eyes, for instance, for the proper length. You want a muzzle that is about the same length from here to here as from here to here. We don't want a muzzle that's real short because then he could carry a goose or a big bird. Um, and then we also look at things like bite. And the bite, it's called a scissor bite, should look like that. We don't want an even bite or an underbite. Now, if we do have an even bite or just a little slight um, even bite, I do find that as the, um, the head grows, sometimes that'll correct itself. I don't usually see underbites ever correct themselves. 
So that's what that, my evaluation would be of this puppy. Um, expression wise, he's adorable. <laughs> so that's puppy number one. Puppy number two. Well, if you were just all looking at them all running around this morning, you wouldn't be able to really tell all these little slight differences. This guy's a little more wee. See the more coat already on him? All right. So I'm going to place this legs first and we're going to place the back. This one's a little more balanced. See the, the height is a little better on him? His height is balanced with the length of his body. All right, so you look at him. I do really like him. We're also looking for something called spring of rib. And that's something that's really hard to see unless you're looking from the top. And I see that and I can feel that on either side here, okay? So this guy's coat, I should showed the difference earlier, this one and, and the other one. If you can just see that, you see a lot of the guard hairs. That's a dog that's gonna have really great coat all about the same size. I want to always make sure people know that in a litter, um, if I go back two years later and there's one that was maybe smaller than the other ones, I find that they're the exact same size as all the other litter mates by the time they fill out. Sometimes one just gets boxed out of the bowl because he's more timid and the other ones are boxing him out. And he's not getting as much food and gets a little slower start. This one, same thing as the first one. I would say he's a little short. I'm gonna get him under himself a little better. Just a little bit short. All right, as far as length to height. Otherwise, yeah, he's a little in. Oh, let's get on the back leg, right like there. Um, otherwise, he's got nice, nice length of neck. Um, Nice keel in the front. Not as nice as that other one that I really liked. Don't like this one's front as much. He's got a lot of coat like that second one. I don't like his tail set as bad, but it's it's acceptable, okay? These guys just age, so <laughs> they look a little bit chubby and they might look like they're lower to the ground than they actually are because their bellies are very full. short in leg. I still like the other one better, but this one would probably be very similar to the my first pick. So let's put them both up on the table, those two little taller ones. I see everything here looks good. Okay, let's compare that other one back and forth. Got that one in our, our head. I'm gonna have some my photographer give me her choice too after looking at them all. Alright, there's that one that I really liked. Alright, and this one has more coat than that. I would say this one because of coat. How about you, Anna? I like his chest more <clears throat> as well. So I can't see it as well as mm -hmm. you can there. He's got a nice sport chest. Yep. It's a close call, but I'd say him. Yeah. So this would be my choice. You can go back and watch it again. Maybe that'll help so you can compare them all. But hopefully that gave you a little bit of how we evaluate structure. And I do want to just show you the front before we finish what we want to see when we place those legs. We don't want to <laughs> see what we call easty-westy like this. All right, we don't want them to toe in. And we want to make sure there's enough chest in here too. We don't want them to be very close here. Okay, that would affect the movement. So we're looking at all of that. So thank you for listening and I hope you learned something and now you're going to be a snob when you go to the dog park. Bye-bye.